We recently hit 200 subscribers and so it's definitely time for some audience interaction. A question asked somewhat frequently on our P90 video, which is for some reason extremely successful, is can't you just use a noise gate? Referring to the better noise performance of the hum cancelling P90. The answer would be a very clear kinda. To start all the way from the beginning, noise gates are designed to allow signal to pass through if it's louder than a certain threshold, which most of them allow you to set to your liking. Anything below that threshold will be cut off, intending to let your playing through and clamp down on any unwanted noise. Now, while on the surface such a gate would indeed be a potential solution, the story isn't quite as simple. A typical guitar signal looks like this. You can clearly see where a note played and where it's not. Now, when introducing some exaggerated noise, the signal looks more like this. Suddenly the attack of a note sits somewhere in the noise floor, which means that you have to raise the threshold in order to keep noise down, sacrificing the attack of some of your notes. In heavy metal music, you're dealing with extremes, making the situation even more complex. High gain settings amplify the signal as well as the noise by an incredible amount. Furthermore, when the signal reaches a certain level, it begins to clip. That's what causes the distortion. Ergo, it doesn't get any louder. Pushing the gain beyond this point will increase the amount of distortion, the level of the noise, but not the level of the actual signal. A fully saturated amplifier is exceedingly sensitive and therefore very susceptible to feedback. Noise out of the amplifier interacts with the guitar and gets fed back into the amplifier where it is boosted to hell and back again, creating a loop which presents itself as one note that becomes increasingly louder. A higher amount of bass noise in your signal path leads to a faster buildup of that note. Making matters worse, single coil hum, which a standard P90 also emits, already consists of a note and its overtones. This makes it easier yet again for more feedback to occur because there's already a set of strong harmonic frequencies present. Adding insult to injury, single coil hum is based on the wall power cycle, meaning either 50 or 60 Hz depending on where you're located. Neither of those, or the multiples of them, correspond to a musical note. At least not if you tune to a 440Hz bass. This means that you will likely squeal completely outside of any musical scale. Finally, playing at very high volumes is a considerable factor in the creation of feedback squeals. To get back to the point, if you have a high gain setup, play at high volumes with a noisy pickup, you may be left with a choice of either cutting off most of your playing by raising the threshold, or lowering your threshold to a point where your guitar will create uncontrollable feedback. Noise gates are not mind readers, they only work off signal levels. If rapid feedback buildup makes your idle guitar as loud as you're playing, even the best noise gate won't help you. Playing with feedback is cool, I get it. But I strongly prefer it to be harmonic and controlled. I know this is a fairly fringe example in which all the stars seem to align for a perfect storm, but going from a standard design P90 to the noise cancelling variant made the guitar usable for band practices in my case. In conclusion, yes. We could have just used a noise gate and in fact we did just use a noise gate and it proved to be just about as useful as urinating on a forest fire. Actually maybe a bit less.